Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today I'm going to show you how to do a swing card, and I did it with the beautiful um, new stamp set that's found in the Cajuns catalog, um, the indescribable gift. As you can see, I did a lot of detail with the blend abilities, and the use the Irresistibly Yours designer series paper that you get free during celebration to make little butterflies. But here is that swing card. This one is done in the pink pirouette. This one is done with black as the card base and um, the pink pirouette as the accent. So let's get started um, so I can show you how I did that. Going to bring in my Big Shot with my magnetic platform. Going to, of course, I have talked about this before, I've got a shim underneath um, my first cutting mat only because I find it easier uh, for me to um, cut through cardstock. Have a standard piece of um, the pink pirouette um, card base, five and a half by eight and a half. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in one of my square framelits. This measures roughly three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and I've already scored my card. And what I want to do is I want to put that up towards the front like so and cut through. So let me line that up, bring in my other cutting mat, and if it's not exact it really um, still works out okay because you're going to, I used embellishments on the side. Now with your framelits it snap, crackles, pops. I always run it back through to make sure that I get a good um, cutting service. Oh, sorry, I just hit my tripod. So there I have my cutout. Now, this piece that you cut out, then you're going to use on a, a coordinating color. Like I used the black here, so when I cut the square out of that black, that's what I'm going to be using for my layer on this piece. Next, what I'm going to do is bring in my personal trimmer. I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This measures 5 inches by 6 inches, and I want to put the 6 inch side up at the top of my um, trimmer. And I am going to score it at the 2 inch and the 4 inch. So then I'm going to go valley fold, mountain fold. I am going to place adhesive on this back piece. Now if you really want it to be strong, you can use um, your sticky strip or your fast fuse, but because of the video I'm just going to be using my snail. And then you just take that and lay it right inside your card like that. Next what I'm going to do is take that square, remember that I cut out of my black, and I want it to go right in the opening. And so I just want adhesive on half of the side over here. Again, using sticky strip or fast fuse will give you a stronger bond, but I've just placed that right in the opening and then your card opens like that and swings open. So let me bring those cards back in again for you to see. There's the black base with the pink pirouette, and there's the pink pirouette with the black base. Hope you've enjoyed today's Creed of Fold, and you come back on Thursday for my wow moment. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you real soon.